What's the first thing you do when you approach a blank canvas? Well, I think um, I, I uh, have to violate the canvas in some way or other. Uh, sometimes they're just too, uh, too pristine uh, looking and too kind of perfect uh, to do anything on. But when they get uh, uh, a bit besmirched, well, then, uh, uh, then they're fair game. It's a, it's a very complex activity, believe me. And I, I, I don't enjoy it all the time. I, I, uh, um, when I do enjoy it, it's, it's marvelous. But there, there are times uh, uh, when somehow the, the inertia won't, uh, 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 is very resistant and uh, uh, I can't get things going. And, and, um, uh, or they get going sort of and uh, they go slowly and, and uh, badly. And this isn't, this isn't fun, really. But then uh, um, my hope is that I can kind of get things in, into just that relationship where uh, uh, some kind of continuity uh, uh, materializes. Very often if you go to, to the locale where an artist works, uh, you'll suddenly uh, re really know that you're in this person's uh, area. Like if you go to, to uh, uh, Arles or... Uh, you feel the Van Gogh uh, around you. Uh, uh, you go, you go to the hill towns and uh, go to Siena and uh, or Florence, and uh, and you get this. Uh, suddenly, you, you're you're seeing uh, uh, Piero or or uh, uh, whomsoever.